This is how you cheat your way to a grade 9 for GCSE English Literature. Now, many of you are sitting this exam tomorrow and next week, so I wanted to go over an important cheat sheet so that you are well prepared and effectively getting top marks for this exam. Now, if we look at A Christmas Carol, this is a cheat sheet for Stave 1 looking at Scrooge. So what are the three key facts? Number one, is that Scrooge is, Scrooge is immediately presented as an unpleasant character who is completely obsessed with making money. That's something that's quite apparent. Now, many of you are still unsure or have a lack of knowledge regarding A Christmas Carol, so this video will give you an insight of all the key facts and a cheat sheet so that you are well prepared and better prepared for tomorrow's exam. Number two, we quickly learn that Scrooge lives his life alone, no one even greets him in the street and beggars don't even ask him for help. The third fact is we see how badly Scrooge treats his employee, Bob Cratchit, and his upper class ignorance when two gentlemen arrive to ask about giving money to charity. Now, what are the key quotes or quotations from Stave 1? Um, the first one being, oh, but he was a tight-fisted hand at the grindstone. What does this show? It shows that Scrooge begins his story as a money-grabbing, selfish old man. His only concern is making money. So we know this is the first and most obvious and apparent quote that you can use for your exam tomorrow in relation to Scrooge. So if you have a question on Scrooge from Stave 1, you can see that's what's quite apparent. The second quote, let me hear another sound from you, said Scrooge, and you'll keep your Christmas by losing your situation. So that's another quote. What does this show? It shows that Scrooge is, is, is in a powerful position as the Cratchit's employer to intimidate him into behaving how he wants. He abuses his upper class role to threaten Cratchit. So essentially, the power he has his authority, he's abusing it, and that's what Dickens is trying to show. And unfortunately, this creates a negative impression of Scrooge within the second um, quote. Okay, the third quote is: "Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses?" Okay, so if I just scroll down here, this is the third quote from Stave One. Okay, just to simplify things for you all, these are the th the three key quotes. And what does this quote show? It shows that in Scrooge's eyes, the poor don't need him, no, don't need help, and he feels that no one should worry about the poor because there are prisons and workhouses for them. So simple, easy. Again, these are some some quotes that you can refer to in your exam tomorrow. And what are some of the most important questions? As you can see, you can take a screenshot of this. I'm not going to go over everything in detail because obviously, uh, due to lack of time, you guys want to revise as well. So just take a screenshot of this. And moving on to stave two, this is our cheat sheet for stave two. What are the key facts? What are the three key facts? Number one is that we meet Scrooge's sister, Fan, who represents the main source of love in Scrooge's young life. Number two, Scrooge watches the Fezziwigs throwing a huge Christmas party for their employees. This visitation makes Scrooge realise how poorly he treats Bob Cratchit. And number three is we meet Belle, Scrooge's ex fiance we learn that Scrooge seems to prioritise money over love. So that's quite apparent. We realise that he's money hungry and he prioritises money over love. And that's uh, something that's apparent. So to those of you still unsure about Christmas Carol, that is still a, continu a continuation from stage one. And it's quite consistent, his love, his passion, his desire for money. So what are some key quotes? Um, a solitary child neglected by his friends is left there still. So that's the first significant quote. And again, as this is a cheat sheet, easy quotes for you to remember for tomorrow. Gain engrosses you. Remove me. I cannot bear it. Okay. So if we take the first one, um, a solitary child neglected by his friends is left there still. Dickens gives the reader a hint about why Scrooge has ended up as a solitary old man with no friends. This is how he grew up, without support or love from most people, except for his sister Fan. And these are some important questions from stage two, so please take a screenshot of this. Now, moving on to stage four, what are the key facts seen or apparent in stage four? The three key facts, number one, the ghost of Christmas yet to come takes Scrooge to a part of London he has never been before, symbolising his ignorance. Number two, Scrooge learns the upsetting news that no one mourns his death and Tiny Tim has died. 
And number three is Scrooge vows to change his ways at the end of stage four. So we see that transition and that starts taking place at the end of stage four. So there's that ability, there's that scope for him to change as a person, um, etc. Now, what are the key quotes? Um, if you have a look at, let's say, the first, the last one rather. So these are the three quotes, three key quotations you can take a note of or take a screenshot. This is your cheat sheet. If you're unaware, you're struggling for quotes, take a screenshot. These are your quotes for tomorrow. I am not the man I was. Whoops, sorry. I should be using a highlighter here. Let's use the highlighter. I am not the man I was. I will not be the man I must have been. Now, what does that show? It shows that Scrooge vows to learn his lesson and change, to be a better man and a kinder person. So learn this, apply it in your exam tomorrow if you get a question on Scrooge or if you find this is relevant. Okay, simple, easy, done. Moving on. The most important questions, as you can see, take a screenshot. Um, and then you can use this for your revision. And finally, in stage five, how is Scrooge presented? The three key facts. Stage five is Scrooge's rebirth and redemption. Scrooge has been a sinful man, has learned the reasons for and consequences of his actions, and is now a changed man. So it's a new version of Scrooge, okay? So it's almost as if he's been reborn. Uh, Scro number two, Scrooge sends a huge turkey to Bob Cratchit's family and gives Bob Cratchit a pay rise to assist his family. And number three, Scrooge goes to Fred's house and asks to join in with their Christmas. So suddenly what's happened? He's changed, he's a new person. People are shocked, people are surprised. Now, let's have a look at some key quotes. These are your key quotes, take a screenshot. These are easy, memorize, use them for your exam tomorrow. So let's have a look at the first one, okay? I'll send it to Bob Cratchit, whispered Scrooge, rubbing his hands and splitting with a laugh, okay? So why, sorry, why am I using, so why is that significant? And how can you use this as well in your exams? Um, sorry, hang on. Why did I do it like that? Let's highlight it. So I'm just writing really fast. I just have to be careful here. Uh, what does this quote show? It shows that Scrooge calls out to a boy in the street and asks him to go and buy a huge turkey for Bob Cratchit's family and to bring the poultry to him. He pays the boy for his service and even pays for the poultry to take a cab to the Cratchit's house. And even the last one, if you look at the last quote, he did it all and, infinite, and infinitely more and to Tiny Tim who did not die. He was a second father. This quotation shows how Scrooge's changed ways benefit the Cratchit. So ultimately, these are quotes that show you his transition and how he changes. Now, what are some of our predictions on some potential questions that may arise? So these are some possible uh, some possible predicted questions that you need to be aware of and prepare for. Number one, how does Dickens present the importance of kindness in society? So you can look at stage five, which we were just discussing. Scrooge is full of joy and praises a young boy as he sends him to buy a prized turkey for the Cratchit's family. So that cheat sheet I just showed you, you can memorize that, use that for that question. Number two, how does Dickens present the importance of family? You can look at stage four, where the Cratchit's family grieved the loss of Tiny Tim. Um, again, you can look at the cheat sheet that I went over for say four, use some of those quotes that are applicable. And the last one, how does Dickens present the importance of guilt or regret in helping Scrooge change his ways? Easy question. Stay four, look out the ghost of Christmas, of Christmas yet to come, reveals Scrooge's grave to him. And you can look at the other areas and stay five, the quotes that I provided you with, the cheat sheet. You can use that to support your answer. So that is it for today's video. Everything you need to cheat your way to a grade nine for your GCC English Literature exam, specifically for a Christmas carol. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your family and friends. Thank you all for the continued support. Do follow us on all social media platforms at Easy Education London on TikTok and YouTube. And if you are interested in joining our online classes, do contact our website, www.easyeducationlondon.com. If you want to join our amazing classes and get that support and guidance from expert and qualified teachers. And if you did watch it until the end, do give us a comment and a uh, feedback if you want to see any specific videos. So that is it for today's videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more. Thank you.